Nice squat spin. Right, back on your knees. Put your weights in your hands or your tins of soup. One more round, let's go. Thumbs down, elbows up. So rotate those shoulders internally. Nice, push the back of those tins up to the ceiling. Get those shoulders nice and warm, but done. Okay, speed it up, speed it up. Bang them out, nice and quick. Keep up with me. Good, squeeze those delts. Good effort, team. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. On your feet, tip from the hip, looking down at the floor, turn the thumbs down. Keep that back nice and straight. Looking at the floor, keep those hamstrings nice and tight. Five more seconds. Lovely stuff. Take one knee. Turn the thumbs together. Palms down. Those front delts. Try not to swing your arm back too far. Keep the tension in the front of your shoulder. Don't be swinging it. Control it. Yeah, time and attention, team. Time and attention. Nice team. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Get that weight forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's lunge. Let's go. Arms out at 90 degrees. Palms facing down. Big step. Looking good, team. Looking good. Ten more lunges. Five more. Keep his arms out straight. Nice. Put your tins down. Last 20 air squats. Let's go. 20 reps. Hips nice and low. Hands out in front. Yes, team, let's move. 20 reps. As soon as you're done, jogging on the spot. Let's go, let's go. Good work, team. Well done, good work. Go get his hips below those knees. Hands out in front. Nice and quick. Get the heart rate up. Get the blood flowing. Nice, guys. Jogging on the spot, team, when you're done. Give you 10 seconds. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's your warm up team. Right, so we're going to start today's session with a cheeky little AMRAP. We're going to go for eight minutes. We're going to go for some polar bear press, handstands, and some hollow rocks. Okay, so make sure you've got a wall suitable for handstands. If not, I'll show you a couple of options. All right, that you can use a sofa instead. So firstly, a polar bear press. We have our feet nice and wide. Hands on the floor, hips high. Big A frame position from there. So we're going to put our weight in our hands and then push back. Head to the floor, push back. Simple as that. If you want to make it any easier, you can go hands and feet wider. If you want to make it harder, bring your hands and feet together. All right, we're starting with 10 of those. Then you're going to find yourself a wall. You're going to get upside down. Take your socks off because they're black, actually. <laughs> Mark the wall. Right, so we're here. So option one, we're just going to hang in there. Option two, we're going to straighten our legs. Option three, get as close to that wall as you can. Thighs off. You're going to hold for 20 seconds. Get that body nice and straight, nice flat back. When you finish, right hand forward and sort of cartwheel out of it, okay? If you haven't got a wall, just watch this. You can get upside down from that position there. 
So if you haven't got, it's a lot easier, but if you haven't got a wall, get a sofa or a stool, get in a right angle and hold yourself upside down, okay? And your last movement, a hollow rock. So we have 10 of them. We're gonna go, legs up, arms up. We're gonna drop and push your head forward. So like a banana, we're just gonna go upper back, lower back, upper back, lower back. Keeping our shoulders fixed nice and still, hips fixed nice and still, all the way. All that tension in your stomach. All right? So we're going to hit eight minutes, as many rounds as possible. Thumbs up if you're all good. Thumbs down if you need some equipment. Everyone good? Everyone good? Hang on. How, ma how many reps is it each one? We're going for 10 polar bear press, yeah. 20 seconds upside down, and yeah. then 10 hollow rocks. We'll do eight minutes, as many rounds as we can. All right? Got it. Get ready, team. Can you start with this pain of air press? In four, three, two, one. Let's go, we're on. So eight minutes, team. Nice, a nice wide feet. Keep your head in line with your arms. You should feel like you've got a pair of dumbbells in your hands. Nice, push that range, get your head all the way to the floor. 20 second handstand next. Good. So you've got the options, guys. You've got bent knees, you've got straight legs, so you've got right against the wall. Amy Newman, that's perfect. Yeah, looking good, team. Nick, if you want to make it harder, bring your hands together. If you want to make it harder. Yes, team, well done. Great effort. Solid team, well done. Make sure you count into 20 as slowly as you can. It's 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. All the way to 20. Okay, keep that spine nice and rounded. So we're flexing from that spine, keeping those abs tight. Like a rocking horse. Abs are stopping you from straightening out. Good. Pull that weight for your stomach. Cracking work, team. You're a minute and 10 seconds in. Everyone looks good. I'm getting involved now. Make that polar bear press harder, put your thumbs together. Nice team, good effort. Keep going, well done. Great work team, well done. Let's go again, straight into the next one. Don't waste any time. Bring your feet closer if that polar bear press is too easy. Let's go, let's go, keep on moving. Good, load those shoulders up. You're three and a half minutes in, guys. Ooh. 
Four minutes in, we're halfway through. Do not stop moving. Move faster, come on. Yeah, now back nice and rounded. Through these hollow rocks. Shoulders nice and round. Abs tight. Let's go into that next one, Paul, quick as you can. <laughs> Good work, Becky, well done. Nice work, Rob, get his arms behind your head. Three and a half to go. Keeping that range of movement. Get a max benefit through the joints. Into his last three minutes now, guys. In his last three minutes, good work. Last two and a half. You need that first and tight for the top of the rock. Get his hips and shoulders fit. Nice one, team. Two minutes. Let's get as many rounds as possible. Two more minutes. Quick transitions, guys, quick transitions. Straight into our next movement, 90 seconds left. Get your head to the floor on these pogo bags. Get your belly off the wall. Wins that last minute. Let's go. No time to rest. Get rest in one minute. Thirty seconds. Keep on working to the end, guys. Let's go to the end. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good effort. Relax, team. Nice, guys. Great job. That was brutal, little one, that. Well done. Okay, while well, you having a drink, I'm just going to talk you for the next format, okay? For the next format, we've got a descending ladder, all right? We're going to go for three exercises. You need 15 reps on each, then 14, then 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1, okay? I'm going to give you 12 minutes, 
Okay, to crack this out, obviously if you get it done quicker, well done. If you don't get it done, don't worry, it's still 12 minutes worth of solid work. Your three movements, guys. The hand rings push up. Mute that quick. Okay, movement one, hand release push up. So we're looking up, chest to floor, release the hands, push back up. So the hands come off the floor, and we push back up. All right, keep that body nice and flat. If you need to drop to the knees, that's fine. Keep that body nice and straight, keep it from bending. We've then got sit ups, so now our back, hands on your temples, all the way up, hands stay still. All the way back for 15 reps. Move the air squats. Hips back, knees wide for 15. So we're going down in one rep every round to so 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Any questions? Amy and Nick, have you done this already today? <laughs> I've done it once before as well, but we did it today, so we get. How long did it take? Uh, eight, eight and a half minutes. Yeah, eight and a half minutes. That's your target. Twelve oh, minutes. First everyone time else I did it <laughs> Twelve minutes. Okay, team. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen hand release push-ups. Oh yeah. Yeah, work up guys, come on. Last one, team. Let's go. Hips below your knees on these squats. So 15 of each, then 14. Lock down. <laughs> nice team. Nice team, good speed, keep going. Good, use the camera for your squat depth. Make sure you're getting down. Yes team, well done. That's three minutes.
Start this thing now. That's four minutes fifteen. Halfway through your time, team. Make sure you release the hands in these push ups.
Please. Let's not ready to move, man. No hot squats. That's right, guys. Come on. Great work, guys. Keep moving. Well done. That's 11 and a half minutes, guys, with 30 seconds. Keep moving. stretch down and then uh happy days and if you do it again just type in the uh, chat bar or wave at the camera if you need a little bit all right that's right team shoulder. You want to feel that in your bum on the bent leg. Just sit there and enjoy it. Good. Put it all the way in. Look over that shoulder. Stop them over. Pull the leg all the way up.
Nice, okay, right, so, gonna go for a melting heart stretch. So, on your hands and knees, thumbs together, slide your hands forward, chest to the floor, keep your bum in the air. Nice straight arms, bum in the air, hold it there. Nice on your hands and the knees. Just gonna go for the cow stretch. You can look up, put your tailbone up, belly button to the floor. Arms are straight. Hold that stretch. Feel your vertebrae get closer together. And a deep breath in. Breathe it out. Tuck your head in. Tuck your bum in. Round your back. Really pull those shoulders apart. Lovely, one more then. Line your front. Get your right arm out towards three o'clock ish. Watch me. You're going to turn yourself around. Feel that stretch across the chest. If you don't feel it, you might need to move your arm forwards or backwards. Ugh. Yeah, I've only seen one of you guys doing that stretch. <laughs> Okay, swap sides. Be left arm towards nine o'clock ish. And turn into that arm. Feel that stretch for your chest. Right team, that'll do you. Great job today. Well done.